Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're playing Obliterate Everything 3. So this is a game that originated on uh, the website Congregate and it's a, it's a decently old game. It came out in 2014 and I used to play this game when I was younger. You guys might have, depending on my audience, you know, you guys probably uh, might have played this game when you were younger or at least, you know, played on the Congregate website when you guys were younger. This game is currently unavailable on on Congregate. At least, you know, the, it, it's available, but you can't actually play it. So if anyone is wants to see me do a video in the future of how to download this game and play it for yourself, please let me know. And I will, I will happily provide that way of accessing this game. Because it took me hours to try to find how to, how to actually play this game. Anyways, I don't want to ramble on too much. Let's kind of, I'll get into it a little bit more in the future as I kind of play through this game. But yeah. So this space is, you are blue, destroy red. Harvest resources. So the re so these reactors here will uh, generate us energy. These, um, what I don't, I minor type things. I don't, I wish I already know, knew what they were called. But they'll generate metal. Um, you defend your base with turrets. Um, you attack enemy bases with different ships and yeah so let's just pause the game real quick and put down some turrets um or put some down some reactors and you have a limited build range so let's just put a turret there to kind of you know deal with that um the turret will just kind of you know slowly destroy some of the units that are coming out as they as they show up um Maybe, let's put down like a, we could put down like a fighter bay, just to kind of like, deal with some of the enemy ships that are showing up. Yeah, the only problem is that those bombers, Since the bombers, they strictly go for like turrets. So they're a little annoying to deal with, and I'm trying to make it so that they only get one shot off, they don't get two. But yeah, I figure we'll have some fighter bays down just to, you know, make, uh, you know, just to kind of distract the enemy a little bit, and, um, and yeah. Let's put down, like I said, more reactors. Honestly, maybe it would have been better to go for bombers instead of the piranha fighters. Just because the the because the piranha fighters really aren't really doing much right now. Um So we got the uh, let's just kind of fill up on reactors, I guess. Oh, you know what? Something I am going to have to change. Which I didn't really think about is that it's going off the screen. And it's fine. Um, anyways, let's just do this. Put, uh, what are these things called? Extractors. Put some extractors down. We got the turrets to kind of defend. For future videos, I'll kind of fix um, things, but for the time being, we're just going to have this, and this should be fine. Uh, that should reach, and it doesn't. Okay. That's not a big deal. Um, let's get this thing so we can generate these Puma guys. Uh, these Star Docks. Star Docks are going to be really good, because they generate the medium ships, rather than just the, the little fighter guys that normally get uh, sent out. We can put another medium, uh, another uh, uh, d -d -d thing, <laughs> another uh, star dock there. I don't usually call them by their names whenever, whenever I've played this game before, so and I am still kind of trying to remember what the names and stuff are because it's been a very long time since I played this game. When I saw it, I was, you know, when I first, you know, was like, I had like remembered the game and was like kind of getting back into it. I was like, yeah, I need to, I need to play this game again. And I need to get back into this game because 
I've missed this game so much. So I spent multiple hours <laughs> looking for this game. I'm also gonna try to save my metal a little bit because the metal is a little, it's a little wonky. I've noticed that it kind of glitches out sometimes um, with this game. So I'm not sure if I can actually, if I actually have 42 metal, I assume I might. But um, in the case that it like glitches and I go back down to like zero or something like that, uh, I'm just kind of going to leave it how it is for now. What did I unlock again? Oh yeah, a turret. So auto, wait, it wasn't auto gun. It was, oh, another double blaster. That's what it was. That's right. Okay. Um, let's get the repair turrets. Just put down a ton of reactors. How much is this one? Let's just put that guy down. He'll just be temporary and then we can sell him. But I just wanted to get rid of that little annoying fighter guy. So I didn't have to worry about him destroying or, you know, damaging my uh, reactors. Well, maybe I should send out some mosquito fighters. Just to, just to be annoying as well. You know what? I'm going to do that. Because they want to send out, you know, a bunch of fighter guys, a bunch of, uh, you know, of these mosquitoes. I'll be annoying too. Why not? I'll cause some damage. Mosquitoes can hit fighters, by the way, with their missiles. It's just they only target structures. But if their missiles hit, you know, like a, a normal unit or whatever, then it does get destroyed by it. Let's just send, like, an army of mosquitoes after him. Why not? Let's just have, like, a whole fleet of mosquitoes. I do need to make sure that I have, uh... Enough energy, though, to actually do so. But yeah, if I go for this, I don't even need to get the metal. I can just send, I can just get a bunch of energy and then go in with mosquitoes. Maybe this is the strat. I mean, look at the mosquitoes go. They're just they're just hammering away. Hey, this might actually be the strat. I mean, with how many mosquitoes I have actually going out, like, they're doing some serious damage as well. They're just not actually, you know, destroying any of the units that get sent out, but they are destroying literally all of their structures. And we won with just an army of, army of mosquitoes. I'm going to wait for this four minute mark to go down because I don't, I would love this Legion. The Legion looks sick. I mean, Cutlass Hanger. I'm not sure what a cutlass is. I don't remember what it is. I, I mean, I've seen it before when I played this game in the past, but it's been a very long time, so I don't exactly remember what it is or what it looks like. The rapiers are really good too. I definitely want to get those guys eventually, I think. I think it's, yeah, it is the rapiers that I want to get eventually. Um. But yeah, let's just keep going. This is the constructor type thing, I'm pretty sure it's called. Yeah, I think we're just going to keep going for that strat of just sending in... Um, okay, let's get that guy. Because we do need to at least defend against some of these, like, basic enemies. Yeah, I mean, the game also is a little buggy at times. Um... Couldn't already kind of tell. They're gonna end up flying back around, so actually, it's not that big of a deal. The reactors do have a good amount of health, so I think it should mostly be fine. But yeah, we're just gonna send in some mosquitoes just to be a little annoying, and then I can keep building, you know, my reactors. Oh, 
Hold on. Uh, I'll have to check to see which one does. Because I'm not sure if the double blasters just have more dam- Uh, I assume they just- they have more health and do more damage, too. But again, that's me assuming, so... So I'm not entirely sure. If I'm right in that assumption. But I'm hoping I am. I'm hoping it does, you know, has more health. Like, I'm hoping it's a literal double blaster, if you get what I mean. It's got like double HP or at least more HP and then it's got, you know, double damage or at least more damage. I feel like that makes the most sense to me. Especially with it costing almost double the, double the amount. I'm not, I don't even really care if this video does well on my channel. I'm just playing this game strictly for like n nostalgia sake. Cause I really have been thinking about this game a lot lately and I've been like, you know what, I want to play this game. And so then, I think I already said it, but I spent like four hours trying to actually find the game. I spent so long, and, and not a, I, it hasn't even ju been just today, I like, like I spent hours yesterday. So it's actually probably more than four hours in total that I've spent looking for this game. And... It is, I'll, I'll talk more about it maybe some other time, but long story short, the creator of this game actually ended up passing away from cancer, and and he was supposed to be working on an obli obliterate everything for, and obviously that never, you know, came to fruition because of him passing away. So rest in peace to that guy, but... And, and I guess in a sense, I'm kind of playing this game to honor him because, you know, it was this is an absolutely great game that I highly recommend to everyone play it. And if you haven't heard this game before, then I feel like this is going to be a pretty good kind of introduction to this game because things can get very crazy. And even though there are some bugs and stuff like that, you know, like it is, it, 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 <clears throat> excuse me, it'd be... It would be lovely to see someone else kind of take on this game and kind of, <clears throat> you know, finish it or fix some of the bugs or whatever with it, but... <clears throat> Jeez. Force rounds. Let's see. Is there anything... Should be armor regen. What can I kind of spend my money on? <clears throat> well, more specifically, my... Metal, my art, or whatever it's called, yeah. Ah, uh, that's the cutlass, okay. <clears throat> well then, I don't really want to buy any of the stuff that's in the, in here. I mean, this fighter would be pretty, actually, you know what, Rana, yeah. <clears throat> Why? Why am I, like, coughing this much? <clears throat> ridiculous but yeah so you can see the the mods and stuff and that's and you get into that's in this upgrade panel so it costs 750 gold to upgrade um one of your uh, you know units or towers or whatever well you're either you can upgrade your turrets and your units so it costs 750 to do that and some of the upgrades can be incredibly good so like one of them was with the with the um, with the guy that had the hanger. You can have that, and it be um, you can have like the cutlass hanger, things like that, where it's like insanely good. And you know what? Maybe instead of going for a mosquito, I should start going for these piranhas because the piranhas are actually oh. Maybe they're not as good as I thought they were going to be. I mean, they're going to be good against units, but yeah, I guess they're kind of... Kind of bad. For, like, everything else. But yeah, for dealing with units, they're going to be crazy good, but... they just launch back the units. 
so they're, I mean, they're kind of, I guess they're, they're not really that good for you dealing with units, but they're just really annoying. Yeah, I wish they were a little bit better though. I thought the shield was gonna, you know, be a little bit more. Their damage is not good. They're gonna be good against like weak. I think it's just kind of this guy where there it's got the the, or the homing projectiles. I think that's just kind of like, it's just kind of unlucky with that. I think it was, if it was like literally like almost any other faction, I think it would be better. It's just kind of unlucky with, with how this is going. This faction is pretty difficult to beat, it kind of seems. I mean, it's not difficult to beat, but... Like, I feel like early, early on, it's, it's a little difficult. But I feel like if you can kind of flood their... Flood them with, like, units to, to attack, it does seem like their homing guys do, like, take a long time to reload. So I think we could probably just flood them with units and that should work. Yeah, the turrets are getting absolutely demolished. Again, it's just the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are so good. <laughs> and you know what? The piranhas are actually going to be really good against like the cutlasses as well. I'm just now thinking about that. What did I don't even... Oh yeah, I also have the constructor. I have the repair turret. I have the knight. Heavy fighter with missiles. That could be cool. Okay, now we got two factions to take on. I think I'm gonna try to build up my reactor like horde down here and then just try to kind of like unleash a bunch of like mosquitoes on them i think that's what i think that's going to be my because they're just going to be kind of like fighting each other uh for the time being i do need to be careful though because eventually like some of their units might start coming towards me if i build out a little too far and end up getting like targeted by their guys. That's kind of why I'm trying to be a little careful with how I, with how I build my reactors. I'm like building down here and stuff. Oh. I'm going to let my resources build up as well. Okay. Um. Go with some knights as well. To help kind of destroy, like, any units or anything like that. I'm not sure how good of a strategy this is, but it's the strategy I'm going for.
Go mosquitoes, go destroy everything. And then the knights need to destroy the units. But yeah, as long as the mosquitoes can kind of, you know, obviously destroy the structures, the knights can help defend them um, against any units. And yeah, oh, okay, yeah, the yellow guys are done for. Orange guys are getting swarmed as well. Yellow guys are definitely the more annoying group. It's just the orange guys have the really annoying, like, turrets. But their units are pretty easy to deal with because they mainly focus on, like, mining and stuff like that. Another auto blaster. Ah, oh, just what I needed. Yellow guys are going to be pretty annoying. Um... Okay. Wow, he just got demolished. Do I need to go for, like, some knights for, my, for myself? Like, I didn't realize the piranhas were going to be this bad against these guys. I thought the piranhas would put up a little bit more of a fight here. But my gosh, they are getting destroyed. Okay, I might have to restart this, I'm not sure. Either that, or I can have the piranhas kind of like tank and then have the knights deal the damage. Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay, I think that's what I need to do, okay. <clears throat> And I can have the piranhas go in after. Because otherwise, the, piran or the piranhas are just going to... Or, not piranhas, the mosquitoes. The mos mosquitoes are going to end up getting destroyed by the units if... Um, if I just were to send them in first. That's kind of why I always needed swarms of uh, mosquitoes. They would always get destroyed by the units. But I think this actually ended up going pretty well. It wasn't the smoothest of starts, but... It ended up going pretty well in the end. Got another double blaster. <clears throat> which I'm actually going to hold on to, at least for the time being. Am I sandwiched? Yes, I am. <clears throat> Whenever you see me start with like 750 energy, that means I'm sandwiched in between. Um, oh. Let me go back to full screen. There we go. Well, in this instance, uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm not too sure what to do, but I guess just go for some knights just to kind of help defend a little bit. Also send in the some some piranhas just to be a little annoying. Cause they're not, you know, they're not the the best, but they are kind of tanky. A little. They got the shield. So they can be annoying. They can mainly just kind of help distract distract the enemies from things. And then, yeah, we'll send in the mosquitoes after to destroy the buildings. So, yeah, the, the piranhas are kind of just, like, tanking for the mosquitoes. That's kind of just what's happening. Yeah, let's have some turrets, because things can get a little overwhelming. So, just to kind of keep things from getting too chaotic, we'll do this. Normally I would just go for a bunch of reactors and that's probably what I should be doing, but this adds a little bit more, you know, unknown, more of an unknown factor to it and I like it. 
I like, uh, you know, trying out different strategies, and this is definitely a strategy that I normally wouldn't go for. So I'm, I'm curious how this is gonna, how this is gonna play out. down some more of those guys. Yeah, let me send in some more mosquitoes, I think. I think that's what I need. More mosquitoes. Destroy their structures. It is like the turrets and stuff that are causing me like the most issues. For like when my turret when my enemy or when my units do get in there, it's like the, the turrets are causing me a lot of issues. Okay, well now, now the units are causing me some problems. If I can take out yellow though, then I can focus just on purple over here, who now has medium units, which is going to be a problem. But yeah, I just need to be able to destroy and kind of defend against purple, and then I can have my whole fleet of small fighters just kind of focus purple over here. Oh yeah, now, okay. <clears throat> now I think purple's Okay, well, I say that, and now I'm kind of getting demolished. Yeah, their medium guys are just really good. <laughs> yeah, their medium guys are doing a number on my guys. Wow. Okay. Um... I thought I was in a good position when I destroyed yellow, and it appears that purple is probably in a better position. I don't think that I have... I just don't think I have the firepower to get past their medium ships. So I definitely don't need to go for, you know, small ships only, but I'm just, I'm just doing it just for fun. Okay, we destroyed that, which is going to be, a, which is a good step forward. Because I destroyed their production of medium ships. So, I'm better off in that regard. And at this point, I'm just flooding them with with uh, with units. So I actually think that I'm gonna end up winning winning this just because of that fact. Yeah. Okay, that was a little that was a little close. I'm gonna be honest. That was really that was way closer than I thought it was gonna end up being. But uh, we ended up winning in the end, luckily. <laughs> Like I said, very close. Okay, where are we at? It's just us two? Okay. Okay, well, now that I know that purple is going to be extremely difficult to deal with, I'm going to send in some knights to hopefully deal with maybe, like, some of the um, miners that are going to be sent my way. Seems like they don't really have a good way of dealing with smaller units, like my fighters, and my mosquitoes especially. 
But all they have are like these blasters. So then the fighters can kind of go in and destroy things because all they have are the miners. They don't have any other units to like send at me. So I think it's mainly like just the later stages that they start ramping up quickly because they went for um, went for metal early on. I think that's I think that's what's doing it. But if I can destroy them early on, then that's the better course of action. Nice. Things are going well. money here to get. Again, just me against purple again. Okay. Same thing as last time, probably. Although this time I might start off with just going for mosquitoes because it seems like they are struggling to deal with the mosquitoes. Um, mosquitoes get two shots off, which is pretty good. The knights, they just kind of take the fire away from the mosquitoes. Um, I didn't mean to put that there, but I guess that's fine. Oh, they have these guys now. Oh, okay. Well, those guys are actually going to be really annoying to deal with. I forgot that they had these. I was thinking that they just had the miners, but they nope, they have these guys. Which I think are like receptors or something like that. Which are literally like the best unit for dealing with small units. So I might have no choice but to go for a star dock because otherwise I don't think I'm going to be able to get through. Because yeah, those guys just, they literally one shot fighters. So as long as they have those guys coming out, I'm a, my fighters are not going to be able to break through at all. Um, so yeah, I gotta, I gotta go for a star dog. I can't do what I did last time, <laughs> is basically what I'm saying. There we go. So yeah, let's go for a star dog. Um, even though don't really want to, I don't really have a choice. I mean, I'll at least have these units to kind of be a little annoying, but my guys really will not be doing much in terms of damage. Like, at all. So yeah, let's just get this star dock going, and then get uh, the Puma out. Then we can get another star dock eventually. Um, let's just build up our... Um, energy generation. I wish I could... Can't, you can't put them behind this, which is a little annoying, but it's fine. Like I said, it's not like anyone's really touching the game at all, so it does kind of suck that there are these bugs and stuff around, but hopefully eventually someone takes up the game and, you know, makes some changes and makes some fixes and stuff to it. It would be really nice to see, see that be done eventually, sometime in the future. Okay, we got some Pumas going now, so yeah. Yeah, this was really our only way of being able to break through. I don't think we really have any other way of breaking through their defenses. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Got eight hundred dollars. I could like put that on something. But what would I even want to put that on? What would I want to upgrade? I don't know. Maybe like a double blaster? I have three of them. Because when you upgrade one, you it can it can have there's multiple like possibilities. So for example, if I sold if I sell this piranha, it's hundred and thirty five dollars. Because the piranha by itself isn't really worth that much. It's um because it's a very basic thing. But if I were to upgrade like a double blaster or something like that, it the, it would cost a lot depending on how many mods it adds to it. Um, I might hold off just because the double blaster... I don't know. Because if I could, I could upgrade the Puma. Or should I just hold off? Maybe I should just hold off. The reason why I was thinking about upgrading like the um, the weaker ships and stuff was just for the sake of um, having like quicker starts and things like that. Like you know, finishing the game quicker. If I can get like a really strong, you know, weak unit then I could just have like hordes of them going out like right at the start of the game and just like basically be able to win with that. But maybe that, maybe that would be such a good idea. If I could get if I get those minor, like, drone things, that would be really good, actually. So I'm thinking about it, like, I could get a, I could get those at the start, rush for a star dog, and then, and they're also more versatile because they're just, they're just, you just need a fighter bay for those miners. Let me actually check what, because I, I want to, I want to, um, actually, do I even need to? Not really. Let me let me just check what the speed of which these um, extractors are. It's okay. They plus two production or plus four. Is it plus four production? Plus six. What? Plus four. Okay. It seems like on average it's like plus four production. Okay. I just wasn't sure. If, I, I knew it produced like four, you know, four metal each time, but I wasn't sure if it was actually like plus four, um, like per second or however much. Oh wait, I have a lot of stuff. I need to send out my mosquitoes. Uh, I'm probably going to go for the army of mosquitoes again. You know, I do want to use a how far out can I go now? Ooh, I actually can go pretty far now. I'm just going to use all of that space just to put mosquitoes. Just have an army of mosquitoes. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Now they're all just headed back to destroy the next next enemy base. 
like actual mosquitoes. <laughs> they just warm and then there we go. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, then we have engineers, which just repairs stuff. Okay. Um, more money, maybe. Let's go with actually. Let's go with this because the di difficulty is lower. You know what, I'll, I'll let some of those guys just kind of run rampant for, at least for a little bit. Then I'll go for a night. Because they're not gonna, you know, they don't do that much damage. So I'm like, you know what, let's, I'll, I'm okay with some of these guys just kind of going around shooting things. At least until I can get, you know, my knights going and then they can start taking out the, the annoy, annoying little pests. Then I can get mosquitoes and stuff after. Yeah, those, I, I mean, the knights are really annoying too. Like they just, cause they are like pretty fast. So they just kind of circle around and then the enemy turrets try to chase them and then it doesn't really work. So if they kind of can get uh get out of like the initial attack barrage, like if they can avoid the initial attack barrage of the enemy like turrets and things like that, then they can just kind of circle around the enemy base and just fire fire along the side. How's the enemy base looking? Um, not too shabby. Okay, yeah, now we have an army of these guys. Oh, they got the reset. Oh, that's why things are looking more in the favor of the enemy. It's because they got those stupid receptor guys. They're so annoying. But it's fine. You know what? We're gonna... Even with just fighters, we're gonna make it through. We're gonna make it through. We're gonna have a bunch of knights, a bunch of mosquitoes. And we're just gonna swarm them. Even with those receptor guys down, we're just gonna swarm them. Okay, that should be enough. We can just <laughs> say we can just kind of watch the the watch it fall. We're not really getting all that good of stuff right now. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, and the video is getting a little long, so I might. Stop recording. Soon. Yeah, let's just let the red guys go after th after the orange guys. Why not? The orange guys are very like strong early. They got those really strong turrets. Okay, there is absolutely no reason that you're coming over to attack me. There's no reason for it. Leave me alone. Get out of here. The problem is with the miners, they're a little different than like the typical. 
than like the typical unit. Um, because they attack very, well, the typical, like, um, early on, like, yeah. And because they, they get up close. So if you don't have, um, turrets that can hit, like, all around your base, like, you could just have a miner that's just kind of constantly circling around one of your structures. And even though it doesn't do a lot of damage, it's just constantly attacking. Oh my gosh, those things are annoying. They're all, they're homing onto my freaking guy over here. My turret. Like even though they're attacking the red guy, they're also hitting my stuff. Like look how far they're like going from. For once, I actually. I kind of want the red guys to develop, like, stronger units. Just so then I don't have to worry about these stupid orange, these stupid, like, freaking homing mis- homing shurikens or whatever they are. But anyways, you guys should know the drill. Let's start going for... mosquitoes now. Let's focus on the red base first, because those are going to be the easiest to actually destroy. Eventually we will want to go for mosquitoes over here though. So I guess we might as well start sending it. Actually, with our limited space, that's all we can build right now. Which actually isn't that bad. We're... Yeah. Actually doing better than I thought we were. I, uh, I thought things were just going to kind of get destroyed. Um, but I guess the swarm was just way too much. They both got destroyed basically at the same time. Nice. Well... I think I'm going to probably end the video here. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. I mean, the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.